Hello, Ohio State fans. I can't believe it. It's been viral in the last few hours. This could come as a shock to Ohio State fans. Hold on, I'll tell you everything. But first tell me, how long have you been an Ohio State fan? 10 years? Leave it in the comments. Getting straight to the point. The quarterback situation is generating speculation and uncertainty. As we prepare for the Cotton Bowl, with Devin Brown and Lincoln Keenholz preparing for the game, it's important to mention that none of the top quarterbacks available in the transfer portal have visited Ohio so far. However, this has not reduced the speculation and future possibilities. We live in a new era of college football, where additional factors, such as potential extra NIL earnings, can influence player decisions. Head coach Ryan Day assembled a quarterback room with a long-term plan, but Kyle McCord entering the transfer portal made him rethink his strategy. To secure a top quarterback available, Day would likely need to make long-term commitments, something sources say he was unwilling to do for starter McCord. In the past, Day was able to land Justin Fields with an irresistible offer, but the current situation is different. Of the top quarterbacks available in the transfer portal, none stood out in national passing efficiency or yards per attempt statistics. Day must evaluate whether any of these players fit within his three internal options. It's important to remember that McCord had a solid performance, ranking among the best in both stats. However, the comparison now is to Devin Brown, the player McCord outperformed last season, and two younger, less tested options. Another factor influencing this decision is the change to a 12-team playoff. Previously, one loss could seriously damage a team's championship chances. Now, with the possibility of two losses still resulting in a playoff spot, coaches are considering quarterbacks with longer-term developmental potential.